Hey art friends, today we're drawing another character from Mario. Who are we drawing this time? Spiny. And who is Spiny? A turtle with spikes. Yeah, he's the turtle with the spikes, the big spikes. We hope you're gonna follow along. You need your drawing supplies. We're gonna use marker, but also a pencil. You also need some? Paper and something to color with. Yeah, you ready to start? Yes. Let's use our pencil first. We're gonna draw a circle over here to draw the main shape of Spiny's head. We're gonna draw it about this big. And I'm pressing kind of firmly so it's darker. I'm actually gonna go over it a couple times to get it just right. It's okay if your lines are messy too and you have extra lines. You can go back in and erase any extra lines that you don't wanna keep. Now let's draw the top curve to the shell. We're gonna draw an upside down U or a rainbow line. We're gonna come up and then back down and then go over that again just to make it a little darker for our friends to see. Yes, good job. Ah, I like that yours is even bigger than mine. <laughs> good job. Now we're ready to switch to our marker and let's draw the detail on the shell. First it goes over the head. So we're gonna start right here and we're gonna draw an S curve. It goes over the head, comes down like this. Then we're gonna come across and then we'll stop on the rainbow line. Then we're gonna draw that same line, but we're gonna draw it higher. So we're gonna draw it right here and we wanna match the same shape as the first curve. Nice, now right here at the end, let's draw a curve to connect down to the bottom. And then let's also extend this curve, the bottom one, just down a little further. Now we're ready to draw the head. We're gonna start inside of the circle and we're gonna draw a curve that comes down and kind of matches the outside shape of the circle. Yes, and then we're gonna draw the cheek. It's gonna come out, or the nose. It's gonna come out, touch the circle or the guideline, and then we're gonna trace over the pencil line and connect into the shell. You did it. Let's switch to our eraser and we're going to erase the guidelines inside of the marker lines right here. This part we're gonna speed up, so remember to pause the video and take time to erase your guidelines. I'm also gonna erase this little circle part right here and then over the marker. Now let's switch back to our marker and we're gonna finish this line right here. It's gonna curve around like this and then into the cheek. Nice. Now let's draw the eyes. We're first gonna draw two guide points right here with about this much space. That's not the <laughs> eyes. <laughs> Those are too small. <laughs> Those are for the eyebrows. I actually think they're really good. Yeah, I, yeah we could just leave it like that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, now we're gonna draw a diagonal line from this guide point on the right. And we're gonna draw it coming up and connecting to the shell. Then we're gonna draw another diagonal line coming up from the other side and connecting to the outside of the head. Then we're gonna draw the bottom of the eyes. Let's first draw a U shape here on the left and it's kind of squished. The eye comes down and back up. Then we're gonna draw a bigger U over here. We're gonna start at the end. We're gonna come down like this, across, and then up and connect to the shell. Now let's draw the pupils inside. Right here we're gonna draw a little curve and then we can color that in. Then we're gonna draw the other one and we're gonna draw a letter U and then color that in also. Now we're ready to draw the spikes. Let's draw the first one right here. We're gonna come up and then back down and they look like triangles. And then right here, we can connect the bottom of the spike with a curve. Now we're gonna leave a little space and we're gonna draw another one coming up and back down. And 
And then let's connect the bottom with the curve also. Now we're going to draw the next spike right here. It's on the side of the shell. So I'm going to turn my paper a little sideways and we're going to come up just past the guideline and then we're going to come back down like that. There you go. And then back in. And then we can connect the bottom with a curve also. Now let's draw one more spike, and this one's a little smaller. We're going to draw it on the back, coming out and back in. And then right here we can connect with a curve also. Yours is overlapping, so you could draw it coming and curving up. I drew a little bit. We're going to curve and then connect to the shell right about there. Or the spike, yeah. There you go. Now we're going to switch to our eraser again and erase the guidelines inside of each of the spikes. Now we're ready to use our marker again and we're going to trace over the pencil line to finish the shell. So we're going to trace in between the spikes and come all the way over here and down to the outside shape. What's Spiny missing? His feet. Yeah, his feet. Let's start right here and draw the first one. We're going to draw an upside down U shape. We're going to come up, over, and down. There you go. And then let's draw the first toe. We're going to draw a short line in. Then we're going to draw the next toe. We're going to draw a curve that starts up here. We're going to go past the first toe. Then we're going to draw another short line in. Oh, let's make it a little bit longer. And then let's draw the third toe. We're going to draw another curve that comes down. And then we're going to connect into the back of the foot, but with a curve right at the end. Cool. Let's draw the other foot over here. We're going to draw a little curve coming down from the cheek. Then we're going to draw that first toe. And then on this one, we're just going to draw two toes. So there's the little curve. And then this one we're going to draw coming back like this, almost all the way to the foot, but then we're going to curve into the chin. Good job. All right, let's draw the third foot. You can't see the fourth one. It's behind his body. But we're going to draw the third one right here. We're going to draw the same upside down U shape, comes up, around, and down. Then let's draw the toes. We're going to repeat all the same steps we did right here. So we'll draw that short line in. And then we'll draw the next toe coming down further. And then a longer line in. And then the third toe, we're going to draw another curve coming down. And then back and into the rest of the foot. Now let's connect the feet to the body. Right here, I'm going to draw a little curve. You kind of have a lot more space, but that's OK, right? Yeah. I love that our two drawings are different. They're both turning out awesome. Now let's connect these two feet with the belly. <laughs> oh, cool. And an extra little line right there. I like <laughs> it. I'm going to add a little line too. We did it, Hadley. We finished drawing Spiny, except we're not completely done. We still need to color him. Yes. This part will fast forward, but at the end, you can pause the video to match our same coloring. Oh, before we color though, let's switch to our eraser again and erase any guidelines that you can still see. Okay. You ready to fast forward? Mm -hmm. finished drawing and coloring spiny. It looks way better colored in. Yeah, I hope our, our friends will take time to color their drawings also. We just use red and kind of an orange yellow color for his body. We use gray for shading on the spikes. Yeah, that makes them look more 3D. We hope you had a lot of fun drawing spiny. We do. We hope you had a lot of fun and we'll see you later our friends. Goodbye! Bye -bye.